What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to compare and contrast the differences between tripod and pivotal BMX seats. Okay, so to start, to use as my examples, I've got a pivotal seat and post and a tripod seat and post. And we're going to take a look at both of these. All right, so let's take a look. All right, so this is a tree seat and a demolition seat. And the most obvious thing you're gonna notice about a tripod seat is that there's no bolt mounts on it, on the top. Whereas on a pivotal seat, the way that the seat attaches to the post, the bolt goes through the seat. So what you'll need is, you'll need an Allen key. And you're gonna be putting the Allen through here like this, and that's how you do the seat. <laughs> we take a look underneath. All right, so whereas on the pivotal seat, the bolt is on the top of the seat and it comes through this way and that's how you tighten the seat down. On the tripod, the bolt is here. And this little triangle shape has little feet that stick in here. This pops into place and then you bolt it down like that. The pivotal seat has these little notches, and that's how you adjust the angle of the seat. And you bolt it there. The tripod seat only has two different options for how you can set it. One's a little more lean back, one's a little flatter. The Pivotal has a couple more options. As you can see, other than that, they're pretty similar, these seats. So the only real difference is where the bolt is. On a pivotal, it's up here, and on a tripod, it's right there. Now there's a third type of BMX seat that I need to mention, and that's a railed BMX seat. And what that means is, on the bottom of the seat, there's something called guts, and the seat has rails. And the guts have to be situated in a certain way, so when you tighten it down, it clamps down onto the rails. Um, for the most part, not many companies make those anymore. They're about two or three times heavier than one of these tripod or pivotal so they're kind of they're kind of not useful anymore for bmx freestyle at least i think they still make some race seats like that and there's some people who like to ride older seats and uh that's fine it's a, for the most part it's personal preference on paper the differences between tripod and pivotal are really small Tripod seat and post combinations together are usually maybe one or two ounces, ounces lighter than Pivotal. So it's negligible. Um, when you're picking out a seat and post combo, whether it be tripod or Pivotal, I think it's really just important to get whatever kind of seat you want. Get something that looks cool on your bike. Other than that, there's, there's, not, there's not much of a difference. Some companies lean a little more towards tripod designs and others lean a little more towards pivotal. Some make both. So it's whatever you choose. So when it comes to tripod and pivotal seats, it really comes down to personal preference. I hope this video helps some people. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If not, I hope you all have a great day. Thank you, good night, and peace.